It's great because it basically takes the focus off of the um, patient when you're in the operating room. Now we're learning in a controlled environment where we can do things and not be afraid to ask questions. And uh, you know, the, the focus is now on us as the learner. We get to do things, and it's, it's really helpful in our training. And when we get to the chance to get to the operating room, it really uh, you know we can use our skills we've learned here to deal with situations there. Uh, the American College of Surgeons, since last year, has mandated that all surgical residents graduates have to pass this fundamental laparoscopic skills test before they're eligible to sit for their board. So this is a set of five exercises that each resident has to complete uh, in a specific amount of time. So they train here on that and this is the first stage of development of laparoscopic skills. It, they develop uh, dexterity with the laparoscopic instruments, uh, image-guided um, movements, and also uh, hand coordination because they have to pass things from one hand to the other. Uh, if you believe the educational research, they say that in order to acquire any type of skill, you need about 10,000 hours of actual practice. Now, in surgery, a lot of these skills are overlapping, so technically speaking, within a five year of training, you definitely develop a lot of these skills adequately. The problem becomes that we have new procedures that evolve over time, such as laparoscopy evolved in, in uh, um, the late 80s and the vascular procedures in the 90s that practicing physicians are not familiar with and they were never adequately trained to that. So simulation is a great tool for this type of physician training as well, not just the resident training. This station over here helps you practice your surgical uh, knot tying skills and overall suturing. So um, you can come here, I mean practice makes perfect, so you can come here and you can practice as many times as you like um, and try different things and see why different things work better than others. So I'm a medical student here and it's good to come here and practice before I actually have to do this. Um, on with regards to the level of care, I believe that we will provide a much safer environment for care because the residents will be better trained. We are incorporating teams training, teams interaction, and teams response to common medical problems in the simulation training curriculum. So the responders on any kind of emergency will have training under controlled simulated conditions in addition to the exposure that they get during real-time uh, patients.